Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about how to load data using the copy statement in Azure Synapse. So in this module, we will load a bulk data using the copy statement. The copy statement is the recommended loading utility as it enables you to seamlessly and flexibly load data by providing functionality to specify a custom route terminator for CSV files and escape string field and row delimiters for CSV files. And it leverages SQL Server date formats for CSV files and specify wildcards and multiple files in the storage location path. Copy statement allow lower privileged users to load without needing strict control permissions on the data warehouse. It leverages a finer permission model without exposing storage account keys using share access signatures. I will log into Azure portal. I will just show you. I have a, I just created a SQL port and then I have server ready. I'm in the Azure portal now. I'll just go to resource groups. I'll go to Azure load resource group. I will go to Synapse SQL pool overview page. So I have I just created this SQL pool. So if you want to create a new one, you can always go to home. Just go to search and just type Azure Synapse. And using this, you can just click on this and create a new one if you want. But I have one already available SQL pool. So you need a SQL pool to do this load using copy statement so i will copy this server uh, let me go to the resource groups i will copy the server and i will log into the server using sql server management studio i will connect to this server just Paste this server. I'm connecting to this server now. And click on new query and just go to databases. And we have this SQL pool available, test database one. We don't have any tables available at this moment. So I will create a table. In this example, we will be loading data from the New York taxi data set. And we will create a table called trip that represents taxi trips taken within a single year. I'll create a table now. So here you can see it, create table, table name trip and date and pick up time, drop off time. We can see all these attributes. I will create this table now. I think incorrect syntax near distribution. Okay, so here we have to change this our database name. So I will select test database one, that is our SQL pool. So I will create this table under test database one. Now command completed successfully. So let's check if we have any data.
now we have table ready and columns available just refresh it and i will run the uh, i will run the copy statement that will load data from the azure blob storage account into the strip table uh, i'll just go to these tables and make sure like you know if you want to see the column names you can go to or test database on the left and go to tables and check the columns if you want to check the data types for these attributes now i will run the copy statement so copy into a trip table from the azure blob storage i have this file already exists and with field terminator pipe and option label equal copy dbo dot trip table so i will run this copy statement now what it does it will load data into trip table from this azure block storage account so the it is executing the query is executing so if you want to monitor the load, if you want to monitor the load, you can run one query and check whether your load is making progress by periodically running. You can run this query to check the the load now we can see that the request id running and then resource class and copy into a trip table and we can see it here how many rows it processed so far and it processed so far 35 million records you can keep running your query until this load complete if you want to monitor the load so we can see it here the load is still processing it may take few minutes to complete now query executed successfully so i will run this query to check the load status it should say completed here we can see completed and 170 million rows processed so now i will go to table and just just to see the data now we have data available in this table you can see data id Pick up time ID, drop up time ID, pick up geograph ID. So if you want to check the count, just run select count star. So I'm canceling this query because we have 170 million rows available in the table so i just wanted to see like you know we have data available in this table or not now i'll just run this count star so we have 170 rows available 170 million rows so this is how you load data using copy statement this is how you load data into sql pool using copy statement if you have any questions on this copy statement you can post it in the comments if you like this video please subscribe and share the channel thank you